Juno, you're so cute. You're going to get your cutter. These are for you. Yummy treats. Oh, here they are. <laughs> yeah. You're excited. So today I will be showing you how to make some really good, really easy dog treats and they could also be given to cats. Today we will be making little tuna biscuits for the dogs. So they, it is actually a cat recipe, however it's just three ingredients. So it's tuna, flour and an egg and I think possibly a little bit of water if it needs loosening up a bit if it's a bit too dry. So. Yeah, I'll show you how to make up these really easy tuna biscuits. So firstly, let me show you the cookie cutters that I have. I'll show you what these are. So I bought these about a year ago and I have not used them yet. Um, they are from Amazon and I can't remember how much they are, but I'm sure they've still got them. Here they are. So this will be the little dog house. I won't be icing these. These are these designs are for human biscuits because obviously they've got icing on and they've got different patterns. Whereas for the dogs, for the dogs, you won't be having icing on yours, will you? Do you know you're so cute. The dogs won't be having icing on their biscuits. They will just be getting plain tuna biscuits. So for the dogs, I will probably just be using this bone cutting one. Um, I don't think the other shapes, I mean, this one's distinguishable without any sort of icing or pattern on them, but I think these two are a bit ambiguous. Like, yeah, we know that's a paw, but I mean, can you really tell it's a paw? Could it be a cloud? Could it be a flower? It's, it's a bit too vague, whereas these are, a bit more obviously bones and a dog shape. I don't know how well this will keep its shape once the cookies have been cooked. Whereas these, I think it will still be pretty clear and I'll probably break these up into three when I give it to them. So one of these will be enough for three dogs. So I will get cracking with making these. Hey everyone, so it's a bit later on because my battery started dying on my camera. So I've actually been out on a walk with the dogs. They're all wet and dirty. And I'm gonna try and start again with the baking. So I've got all of my ingredients ready. I have got plain flour. I also write the date of when I opened it so I know how old it is. A tin of tuna. This is the only tin that I've ever seen that doesn't have a label on. So it was in a pack of four, so the plastic is wrapped around that. So yeah, there's a tin of tuna. And uh, the eggs. So we are going to weigh these up, although I think it's only the flour that needs weighing, but I might just guesstimate it and just see how much it seems to need, depending on how wet the mixture is. And then I'll roll it out cut out the shapes, pop it on the tray that has been lined with baking paper. Doesn't say, it's just non-stick greaseproof paper. We'll get cooking. One tin of tuna. So you're not draining it, you're keeping all of the liquid in. Try and make sure it is spring water tuna. It's ready for recycling. We'll have an egg ready. Just got to make sure this is mashed up a bit first. And then you get your plain flour. It's 250 grams, but I will be doing it by eye because sometimes you might need to add some water if, you've, if 250 is too much. So I put in a bit, mix it up, wait for it to become the right consistency. Because you will be rolling this out with a rolling pin.
I've set it to 175 because these are going to be a little bigger than what they should be. What we do here is go back, 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 back. So this has been sat in the fridge probably for about an hour, but it doesn't need to be sat in the fridge for as long as that. It could probably do with like 20, 30 minutes of just resting and cooling down, which will make rolling it out a lot easier. of this. This is going to be frozen and saved for another day so it's probably about half so I've used up half of the mix and then this can be cooked fresh another day. So I'll wrap it up in some cling film and stick a label on it and put it in the freezer and they'll be fine for like three months in the freezer. Uh, these can go in the oven so I'll be putting these in the oven for probably 20 minutes, I'll check on them, probably 10 minutes in to see how they're doing. So I have written on here that they are tuna dog biscuits, June 2020 and they are going in the freezer. Right now I have got a couple of the dogs lingering by the oven because they can smell the tuna. That's them cooking away. Does they smell like tuna? These are for you. Yummy treats! Can you smell them? Yeah, look at their lips. <gasps> Do you smell good? Do you smell like treats? Yummy treats! So here they are. All finished. I've gotten a bit of colour to some of them, some of the edge ones. And obviously there's still flour on these so they wouldn't stick to the parchment paper but yeah they look good I think the recipe is about 20 minutes but it depends on how thick you cut them and if your dog will tolerate quite crispy crunchy biscuits or whether they want them a little softer right so I'm gonna let these cool down and then in about half an hour we'll try them out with the dog see if they enjoy them Down. There's the cutters. Well, should we see if you like them? <laughs> yeah, you're excited. Should we give me this one? Oh, come in there. You're doing your paw. Yeah. There you go then. Where is he still? Oh, you polished it off, but you're still eating it. Was that nice? Some waggy tails. Was that nice? You looking for the next one? Yeah. 